To find the explanatory variable, always look at the x-axis. So in this case, our explanatory variable is the egg volume in centimeters cubed of these wobbler birds. The response variable can be found on the y-axis. In this case, it's bill length in millimeters of 12-day-old wobbler hatchlings. There's four things you need to talk about when you describe a scatter plot. The acronym DOOFS might help. You need to talk about the direction, outliers, form, and the strength. So we'll say the relationship between egg volume and bill length is moderately strong, positive, and a linear relationship. There does not appear to be any outliers. So we know it's moderately strong because most of our points are fairly close to our model line here. It's positive because as egg volume increases, so does bill length. It's a linear relationship because that's the form that seems to describe this scatter plot best. And there's no outliers because nothing is terribly far from our model line. So we've described the scatter plot. Now, if this additional bird has a bill length of 9.5 millimeters, that's right here, and it has an egg volume of 0.83, that's probably a point about right here. Now, notice this point is pretty far from our model line. Typically, we'd expect a bird with an egg volume of 0.83 to have a bill length much closer to about 10.75 millimeters. So this particular bird has an unusually short bill length relative to its egg volume. If you liked this video and want to learn more about scatter plots, least squares regression, residuals, and how to use your calculator, check out this playlist. Lots of students have found the first video on the playlist particularly helpful.